Oh, oh, it was all a joke, friends. I was fooling you all these years. He would be sued by universities, by schools of all kinds, by companies, and by actual countries themselves who spent millions of dollars on investigating the Geller effect, so-called. So he'd be in, uh, what you call the uh, deep chin. Yeah. He'd be in big trouble. He'd have lots of, of legal situations to handle. So I think that maybe he's, he's sort of moving off the mystifier uh, designation. Uh, and, and now he's just a plain liar. As opposed to an honest one. Yes. And that gets us to you guys. See, that's as clever as I get. Uh, yes, ma'am, you're right there. there. We do have a microphone coming to you. Uh, I really enjoyed that movie, and I felt like you were saying things that a lot of people are saying as well about psychic and faith healers, and it was nice to be confirmed by your statements and by your writing about that. The question I have for you, do you feel that all psychics are frauds? Well, I can't say that, no. Uh, I always allow, you see, people refer to me as a debunker. I do not like the designation at all because if I were a debunker, that would mean that I go into an investigation saying, this is not so, and I'm going to show you that it's not so. I can't afford that. If I'm an investigator, I'm an investigator. So I say I'm an investigator, I may eventually, and I do, come to the conclusion that I'm a debunker of this particular claim, if and when it goes to a point where I have to do that. But there is a possibility, there might be something like this. I very much doubt it, because, you know, I'm, I just turned 86 yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Showmanship. I, I don't feel the day over 84. Uh, but the point is, I have to always make provision in the back of my mind. Maybe somebody someplace does have one of these powers. Now, I very much doubt that. I have no expectation whatsoever of ever having it proven to me. But I have to go into it with the honest attitude that this may be true, let's find out. So I'm an investigator, I'm not a debunker. Was there ever an incident that you desperately wanted to be true? Was there one thing that you hoped you'd find out was real? I wish I could say yes, but no. No, I... Uh, you know, I had another vast experience as a conjurer. That's a magician, actually. I hate to use that word. That's an English word used in the UK, but not often used in this country or in the United States of America. Uh, but I am a, a conjurer. That is a person who approximates the effect of a genuine magician who would be able to actually subvert nature in some way or another. Um, as, as a conjurer, I, I have a certain responsibility I have to be very careful. When I started out my magic career, as a matter of fact, as a teenager, I did mentalism a great deal. Uh, I may even show you an example of my skills, if you're very good. That's not good enough. Well, we'll see. We'll Should I back away slowly? Is there something yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is not. The vibrations are very small. Um, I could, shall I, could I do it now? Why not? Well, I'll do a little stunt. You saw me do a stunt in there where I had my hands tied consistently. I'd like to have two gentlemen on the stage, two large gentlemen, please, that I don't know already. Do we have? Thank you. Now, uh, this is a piece of rope which I have literally used for over 35 years now. It's an old piece of sash cord that's been through the, the mill, to say the least. I'm going to ask each one of you to hold on onto one end of it, all right? We do hold on to this end here, sir, and we do hold on to this way. Wait, wait, hold. Oh, uh, make sure we got all the kinks out of it. It was packed in my luggage, you see. Uh, packed in my luggage, you see. And so, anyway, would you take your your end here, please, and pull it very tight, please. And your end is here. That's it. Hold on. Now pull very tight. Oh, the pain. <laughs> this is all very fake. I'm going to turn around and tie the other hand on top. Try not to bust the cuff on this. 86 yesterday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, h
second. Okay, we got it? Now, tie another knot on top, please. Not the pink ones, those are my fingers. <laughs> Sorry, tie another knot on top of that, too, would you please? Oh, very good. Is that three knots? Yeah. Have you got room for a fourth? Yeah. Try another one. Why not? Same price. <laughs> Again. All right. Now, thank you. Uh, keep the microphone in front of me, if you would be so kind. Now, I'm going to see. Now, you saw this in the film. And, oh, my goodness, this is a little different than I thought. Uh, would you, would you just stand over there to look at it? <laughs> 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 Maybe now is the time to try. <laughs> Should have gone for all 86 candles. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure to have you with us. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's an, it has been an honor to, to share the stage with you, because now I can say I did that, and everyone here can back me up on it. Uh, James Randy, ladies and gentlemen.